Da li vam je dosadno da kuvate stalno istu hranu kod kuće? Da li nekad poželite da nešto promijenite? Moje ime je Damir Moškov, autor Instagram naloga Damirove gastronomije, a danas ćemo kuvati nešto malo drugačije. Tajlandska hrana je veoma popularna u svijetu, a njena popularnost samo raste. Sigurno ste nas ne čuli za Tajland i tajlandsku hranu, međutim u Crnogori nemamo veliki izbor tajlandskih restorana. Danas želim da vam pokažem kako u svom domu možete da spremite brzo i jednostavno tajlandsku hranu, za vas, vašu porodicu i prijatelje. Ali, za to će mi trebati mala pomoć. We are very lucky to have you with us today, Chef Juan, an experienced Thai chef with more than 25 years of experience cooking for many important people, including the Thai royal family. She also taught numerous people how to cook Thai dishes and today she will share her best recipes with us. Thank you, Damia. Um, it's very good to come visit for your country. It's very nice for our country and Thank today you. and uh, the first time for me for come to visit for your country. And we, we can go to the shopping now. That's okay. And buy some ingredients yes, for Thai yes, food. For, for Thai Let's go. Yeah. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. Welcome to our Thai kitchen for today. We're going to start preparing the dishes now, starting from jasmine rice, which is, I think, the most common side dish for many Thai dishes. In here, one cup rice, here. Okay, one okay. full cup of rice, okay. Yes, just normally in here for two person. Good. Yeah, really. So, the first batch of water enough, enough. we okay. put in is just for cleaning of the rice. So we just mix the rice a little bit yeah. to clean from any uh -huh. bits and pieces that okay. might fall in yeah. the rice. Okay, good. Yeah, don't worry, that's okay. Now, two we cups. Two and cups. Yeah, I which would to... be one to one ratio for jasmine rice. So one cup of rice, one cup of water. That's your measure. Okay. No salt, no butter, no oil. Nothing is needed to add to the jasmine rice when it's being cooked. We first bring the rice uh, with the high heat to a boil and then we stir once and then we leave it, close the lid and we leave it to a slow simmer until uh, the rice is uh, cooked. The cooking time for jasmine rice is 15 minutes. Once it comes to the boil, 15 minutes with the simmer and the lid on. Now the rice is done and the most beautiful way to serve it is to use banana leaf, make a small cup and then uh, serve our rice inside of a banana leaf cup and then serve it with uh, whatever Thai dish we are preparing. Our second recipe in the Thai series is Tom Yam soup with seafood. We're going to use shrimps, uh, squid and in our case sea bream but it can be uh, sea bass or sea bream fillet of the fish we are going yeah. to start uh, cutting up uh, the vegetables. What okay. are we doing first? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Lemongrass, we can buy frozen in our shops. Mm -hmm. It's very commonly used in uh, Thai cuisine. Okay. We cut the top and we make small pieces. Cut okay. also. A fresh one as well. Yes. And We need to hit the lemongrass a few times yeah. to extract okay. the yeah, the, the smell uh, aroma, out of it. Yes, aroma. the aroma coming, out of the lemongrass. The oil coming yeah. here. So yes. we can actually yes. eat lemongrass yeah. fresh like this and it's very healthy for us. Uh -huh. So the outside layer that we already uh, removed, yeah. we can use, but only for the stock, for the yeah. soup. For the soup. So we don't can. eat it, but we will yeah. put it in the water, in our uh, soup, mm -hmm. uh, to make it uh, more flavorful. Yeah. Galangal okay. is just another type of uh, ginger. Okay. Again, nothing gets wasted. We can use mm -hmm. these uh, for the stock as well. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's quite it's similar to ginger, but it has different, still yeah. different, yes. different More aroma. Than so, okay. we put our galangal as well. Okay. Kefir lime leaves. Yes. 
something okay, like this. Okay, so we first need to clean okay. the middle, mid, mid stem. Yeah. Okay, just so here. the oils will come out yeah. once we tear it apart before adding okay. it to the soup. I but it's already a uh, fantastic aroma okay. of uh, lime, basically. Some more. Very similar. More? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. And champignon. Then some mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, so in Thailand, it would mostly be cut like this in like uh, um, smaller chunks. Yeah. But uh, you, it can also be just sliced. Lime is more often used in Thai cuisine, if I'm not mistaken, yes. than lemon. Yeah, okay. So mostly it's used lime. Okay. A bit different. Just flavor. here and the chili. Okay. For mm -hmm. you. Okay. Are you like hot oh. and spicy? Yes, I like hot, but just a little, <laughs> this huh? is Thai chili, so it's a bit. <laughs> Enough we for keep this. the seeds in. That's okay. It's taste okay. and uh, smell is okay, good. Okay, so in just a few chunks like this. So the smaller the pieces, <laughs> spicier the, the okay. soup in the end. Okay. And some coriander, of course. Yes. Okay. okay. Good. Just cut. A, yeah. yeah. Can I just uh, roughly yeah. chop it or? Not. No. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Now for the fish. You okay. want to take care of the yeah, sea bream. Yeah. Are we just cutting yeah, a few, casting here. few pieces of okay. sea bream, here. like this big? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That here are born already. Good. I just mm -hmm. like in three. So what do we do with the tops? No, no, not not small. That's, sorry, yeah. sorry. Let's show me. Just really mm -hmm. enough. Okay, so we don't need Some, to mind two ready. two small pieces. So yeah, nice That's rings. Here. Okay. Easy way for cleaning the shrimp head. Okay. So we cut the head. And, and after that, after that we are left with only the meat. Now we're ready to finish our soup. As you will see with many Thai dishes, it's all in the prep. So once we do the prep work, the cooking will be fast and very simple. So we're going to have this soup on our table in five to eight minutes. Basically how much we need to cook our fish because the fish is going to go in first. So now we're going to add the fish, our uh, galangal and lemongrass to the soup. First galangal and lemongrass. Now we're going to add the sea bream. Nicely poach the sea bream. We close the lid. Sea bream needs the most. Then we're going to add the squid and the mushrooms. And in the end we're going to add our um, shrimps because they need literally a minute. In the meantime we're going to prepare that lovely thing that gives us a red color and those are the heads uh, of our shrimps. First, we need a small pan, turn the heat, okay, cool. one, two tablespoons of oil yes. in the pan. We heat up the oil and this will take no time to change color. Just yeah. It's already started to turn uh, red color, already starting to get that beautiful color that will give the final color to our soup. We are going to add this at the very end together with our uh, shrimps. Here we are like two, two minutes in. By the way, what I forgot to say is that our base of just water, lemongrass, galangal is actually great tea. Without cooking the soup, we can already have a great cup of tea. Mushrooms and the squid. Okay, how much do we need? And then our mushrooms. All of our mushrooms going. You can actually see that beautiful red color that will give the final look to our soup. This is uh, ready uh, and a, it's a, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. 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 Almost ready. It will be ready by the time we actually add the shrimp and um, and lime leaves. So these are the our, our two last ingredients to the soup. Uh, we are waiting for what two more minutes before we add the shrimp. Before we add the soup, we are going to start in our plate, we are going to add two tablespoons yes. of fish sauce. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. About. One. Okay, so we are adding also three yeah. tablespoons of fish sauce in our broth. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. One. Two. So all the shrimp goes in. Yes. Okay. So we added 
two tablespoon of fish sauce and then uh, half a lime or yeah two half and a lime. three spoon uh, same for lime for lime okay okay we need to add the yes. heads here yes okay we are not actually using the whole uh, shrimp mixer mixture to add to the soup but just half because half will be for our decoration at the end while serving the color right yeah yes sir. you can see that it's changing the colors straight away of the soup now at the very end we are adding a few lime leaves okay. we are going to share this because we need to uh, cut them a little bit in our hand like this you can eat all this yeah you, it, we can eat it raw yes. Wow. yes the soup is done and we are going to serve it now let's bring it here okay let's take this off can I, can I, can I? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's amazing. Okay. okay. Wish you could smell this, but yeah. doesn't go on camera. Okay. So now we put a few ladles inside our mixture of fish sauce and, and lime. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's so good. So there we have it. This is the second recipe in the series. The Tom Yum soup. Hot. Spicy, but very, very, very healthy. Our third recipe in the series will be shrimp balls yeah. with sweet chili sauce. Yeah. Okay, how do we start? What do we do yeah, first? Yeah, we start to first. cut into cucumber. Okay. Okay, you can. We take cucumber, yeah. cut it in half. Half. Cut part in the middle. Yeah. You don't need the whole juicy part. Make small pieces. So I cut the long bean in a small yeah, piece. small. Oh, okay. Here. <clears throat> Here. Again, kefir okay. lime leaves. Yes. Very important ingredient. We roll. No, another no. side. I have chick for you together. Okay. And after that, the big one, the outside, uh -huh. and mark the low. And, and then small the cut. Small cut. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Onion. Onion. Onion, okay. Yes. <coughs> I have it small. Like this? Yeah, you can for then here yeah, and then small pieces. And after that we just put to get uh -huh. the fun. Peanut. So peanut, okay. Yeah, so chopped. finely chopped the uh, peanuts. Okay. Okay. Here? How much? Finely Thin. chopped the yeah, chop. shrimps. Yes. Pestle and mortar. Okay. Pestle and mortar, we make the paste. Shrimp paste? No. No. More. Okay. okay, good. Well, now I need to hit. 70, 90. This was. Making yeah. break now. <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes break. Chili paste. So this is um, a red Less curry, curry paste. Okay. 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 Again, at home. Again, again, uh, again. Choose whether you want to put more uh, paste so it's uh, hotter, spicier, or you put less paste. Okay. okay, a little bit of sugar. Oh, uh, enough, enough to. Enough. We're preparing for frying. Oil. Okay, so now we're going to add an egg. Yeah. Okay. okay. One whole egg. Yes. Now mix it a bit slower. Mix together. Huh? Okay. Now we're adding more ingredients. Here. Yeah. Now Here. those bigger chunks of uh, shrimp. Shrimp, yes. Put inside. For the texture. Mm -hmm. Mix, mix, mix. mix. Now the rest of the ingredients, finely yeah. chopped long bean, okay, I how have, much do you put? Pointing. Oh, okay. Okay, I have to, I have to. And mix again. Here, half. Now the lime leaves, nice. Okay. Just, just mix, I help you. Yeah, of course. From here. Mm -hmm, okay, mix. Mm -hmm. Mix. Mm -hmm. This is our mixture. The shrimps and the spices. Yeah. Taking like one flat tablespoon to put in our hot oil. We're testing with the lime leaf. Okay. That's okay, we just taste It's okay, so it's just oil. small bubbles? Yeah. Okay. So I do slowly, Yeah. one by one. Yeah. Oil the hands. Boil. Yeah. Okay, we oil the hands and we can make a better bowl or like a... Yeah. Okay, nice. As can you do like this? What did you say? One minute per side. Is that okay, okay or less? Brow. A little bit brow. Oh, so basically until it gets a beautiful brown color. Okay. okay. Yes. Some more. 
How much do I put the sauce? How much I want? Or? Peanut. Yeah? peanut. Okay, this is good. Okay, the peanut on the top also. Okay, some peanuts on the top. For decoration. Okay, last piece of the puzzle. Last piece. Good. Like this. <laughs> Our next recipe is probably my personal favorite and it's chicken green curry. We're going to use of course, the green curry paste. Uh, this would be uh, sort of the base of the flavor for our curry. And uh, chef, chef, we're going to start with. Okay, when preparing for a vegetable. So some vegetables. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then here. By the way, this is an eggplant, but in Montenegro we cannot find this precise one. But we can use the regular eggplant. It will work just the same. You'll see now when I cut. It's okay. very similar in size. It's an eggplant, so we can use this one okay. or the local one. Cut it in half, okay. okay, and then we put in the water so it doesn't uh, get the dark color, right? Yes. What's this now? What is this? I don't know, this is a berry, a <laughs> green small, berry. Small and baby. Baby eggplant. Eggplant. Okay, so mama eggplant and baby eggplant over here. So we just put this in, yes, in, in water. water. More yeah. of the baby, baby. eggplants. Cut like yes, this, cut. it will be less, yes, yes. less hot yeah. than small pieces. Yeah. Same. Okay, okay good. Done. You have... Thai basil. Yes. Right? Yeah. Lovely. Just do like this. Yep. So just take the leaves. Yeah. So, palm sugar, also in better equipped uh, stores. And then we can find this. You could use like brown sugar or regular. It's not so sweet yes. as sugar. Yes. So by the way, when you use do use sugar or brown sugar, use less because this is less sweet. Yeah, small. Kaffir, lemon leaf. Again, uh, we put it again at the very end. Chicken is already done. Sorry, yes. Yeah. How much? Yes, okay. Okay. Two but tablespoons but in total for okay. the recipe. Okay, good. Okay. Bamboo shoot. Yes. Cut uh, like fine this. like this. Yes, it's okay. the same. Some prep time and then cooking will be quickly. Yes. Okay. We start. We start. Okay. We open. So mix together. Mix a little bit. How okay. Much? Enough. Okay. You know, just cooking. Mm -hmm. So we are cooking this coconut milk until the oil starts to separate. To coconut mix. milk with curry paste. Yeah. Mix and together. we mix a little bit until we wait for milk to reduce a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Paste is here. ready. You Coconut see, milk started cooking. separating. We see the bubbles, and now we add our paste in. Okay, good. And then we mix. A little, a little bit slowly. Uh huh. Okay, I'm just waiting. The green color will just intensify uh, while we are cooking uh, the paste. Okay. So now we're adding the chicken. Yes. Are we going to put everything or mm -hmm. the other one as well? Yeah. Okay, put all the chicken in. So we start adding more once we are halfway there. Yes, yes. Okay. I think to... But again, this is a curry that is ready by the time the chicken is ready, right? Yeah. And we'll be ready to serve soon. Yes. Can we do this, the green curry with fish as well? Yes, of course. Great. So now the bamboo shoots, right? Yes. Okay. How much do I put? All. Oh. All of it? Yes. All of it, okay. More coconut milk, okay. Yes. Four pound sugar, okay. How much? Half. Half. Yes. Okay. Color is coming along. How much do we put spoon? Spoon, I have yeah. spoon here. I think four. Four tablespoons. Yeah, and okay. after that you just tear first, uh -huh. and that is not Check. enough to cook okay. What if I put too much? Do I just add a little bit of coconut? Yes, uh -huh. but a little more than you can put. Okay, so Make now... too high, you, you know, okay. too high. And In the very end, we put two different types of chili. Yes, and kefir. What else? Kefir, lime leaves again. Yeah. But this is already more or less a good dish. Yes. But this makes it uh -huh. perfect. Okay. Yeah, fill it. Okay, we put... You don't need chili, just leave for chicken soup or the curry, okay? If you 
yeah, make the color clean. Few minutes of prep work and 10 to 15 minutes of cooking time and our curry is done. That's it. Chicken green curry, done. <gasps> the chicken fur, wow. With the rice. <laughs> For our fifth recipe, we're going to make a really quick uh, recipe, fried rice with pineapple. Very different combination, especially from Montenegrins. Okay. But uh, fried rice in general is something I uh, like to do very much. It's very quick yeah. and it's a great use of leftover rice. Or you can even plan for it. You can always make more jasmine rice when you cook yeah. green curry yes. or anything yes. else. Yes. And you know you will use the leftover for fried rice. And again, like many recipes so far, you do the prep work in five minutes and then you cook for like five, six minutes and it's already done. Yes. It's fried rice, it's quick cooking. We're not going to chop anything now, it's already prepared. We have a cooked rice. Yes. We have salami, you can use anything like um, salami that you would use for pizza. You make uh, cubes yes. and then carrot, garlic, onion, and then pineapple, of course, uh, tomatoes and scallion, spring onions. Spring onion. Uh, a little bit of uh, raisins. Raisins, yes. Some sugar, salt and pepper. Pepper. Yeah. Great. Yes. We start um, straight away? Yes. We start straight away. We are starting with um, high heat? Yes. High please. heat. So, quick cooking, high heat. Mm -hmm. the one, two tablespoons? Just only one, that's okay. Just one. One tablespoon of... Yeah, enough. And we start adding the ingredients. Uh, carrot. So, carrot, yes, carrot. all together. Yes, please. Carrot, garlic, onion goes in. Carrot, garlic, onion. Mm -hmm. All go in. Get some heat on. We, so we add the, the salami now? Yes. Okay. We add the salami because the salami will need to cook slightly longer. Yeah. Okay. Salami in, vegetables in. And here? Straight Half? away? No? Yeah. Okay. Now raisins. Yes, rice. yes, right. All of this or just ananas? Yes. All of it? Yeah. Okay. Tomatoes as well? No, the not last. Yet. And uh, a little bit. Of scallion? Yeah, not not, not with all, but for decoration also. Ah, okay. okay. Shall I put the scallion now? Yeah. Okay. A little. A little? Yes. Okay. Yes. Enough? Enough. Pepper. Some pepper now. Yeah. Enough? Okay, or? enough, enough. Okay. Sugar? A little. Some sugar. How much is it? A little. Okay, enough. I try to. Okay, and salt. salt. Some salt as well. You try first in the ham. Is it too salty or not? Uh -huh. Okay, and after that, you have enough. Okay. Just mm, look amazing, and they and this smells amazing too. Mm -hmm. Okay, another dish is done. This time, fried rice, cutting, preparing, all done in like seven to eight minutes, which is really quick and really uh, fresh dish. Like uh, I would say, uh, for me, it's a amazing light dinner. For example, I don't know. Yeah. I usually <laughs> eat fried rice for dinner. I don't know. So okay. that's it for fried rice. Good? Yes. Yes. <laughs> For our final recipe, we are going to do something sweet and it's going to be banana in coconut milk. Yes. The I... ingredients for this one is, are very simple. Banana cut into chunks, coconut milk, uh, sugar, touch of salt and... Uh, what panda did you say? leaf. Panda leaves. Yes. Panda leaves. Another new thing that I learned today. But, but as uh, all the other ingredients, it, it's uh, very uh, unusual and amazing. We are going to start by putting in our pot coconut milk. Yes. Half coconut milk, half water. And we are putting also one 
pan the leaf just to give us smell. Put the edges. We also add to this mixture of uh, coconut and water, we add yeah. five. Uh, yeah, five. Five tablespoons yes. of sugar. Okay. 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 It's sweet and already. And just a touch of salt. Yes. Just a little bit. Yes. Okay. Okay, enough. Done. Put as soon as it uh, gets to a boil, we put the banana in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's it. And then we cook a little bit and yeah. we're good. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit. Yeah. You can serve, serve it for uh, hot and cold, that's okay. Aha, uh -huh. so even if it gets cold, it's still yeah. good. If nice. you, you if you get cold, it looks like same ice cream. It's that good. Ah, because of the coconut milk, it will be thicker yeah. and nice. So, we can even freeze it and eat it as an ice cream. Okay. Water is almost... Boiling, we can add our banana in. We add all our bananas in. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's too sweet, then we can always add a little bit of water or coconut milk. Yes. Too. Okay. When we are uh, happy with the sweetness, then mm -hmm. we let this boil in coconut milk for five minutes and then we're ready to serve. Okay. Now that we have been cooking uh, this for uh, five minutes and it's nice boiling, we Think that uh, the banana is cooked through, yeah, but still has a little bit of bite to it. Okay, okay, Take it good. Off the heat and serve it, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For, for five, that's okay. Okay. For one person, okay. Five for one person. Okay. Winter months, we eat this warm. Summer months. We cool it down or even freeze it and eat it as an ice cream. It was a good job. Job yes. well done. So, we prepared six wonderful Thai dishes. And uh, as you can see, the ingredient list is not as long as you might expect. And uh, nowadays, we can find uh, all these ingredients in better equipped supermarkets in Montenegro. The beauty with this food is that uh, you can drink basically whatever you want with this, right? It can be either water... Why, why? With the seafood? Wine with seafood? Yeah, seafood. Seafood, the soup and okay. the, the curry. Yeah. It can be either beer, yes. or maybe for this as a snack. Yes. Maybe beer would be a, a nice option. Mm -hmm. But also you can drink uh, tea yeah. uh, or water. Especially if it's hot, then you will be drinking tea with this. Uh, I really hope that uh, my fellow Montenegrins will try these dishes at home because I'm sure they will love them if they do. And uh, Chef Ron, thanks yes. again for this amazing experience. It was truly a blast. Thank you so much for joy to with me to cooking. Okay. That's my I pleasure. hope you enjoy. You go home and cook in for Thai food. Okay. I will. I definitely <laughs> will. Uh, my biggest surprise of the day was the tom yum. I haven't had it before. And it's amazing. I'm going to cook this for my family very often, okay. actually. Okay, for the very end, uh, the links for all the recipes will be down in the description box down below. And uh, hopefully this is not the last Thai series that we do in Montenegro and that you try these dishes at home. And uh, also in the uh, comments below, please let us know what you think. <laughs>